So coronavirus is affecting everyone. And it would seem Disney is no less being hit as well. In fact, uh, quite, quite massively. Furloughs have now hit Disney film amid the coronavirus crisis, the world pandemic. Now, let's take a look at exactly what is going on and, and how this started, because this is this is just the new part of this. Uh, this is just the latest, and a lot of people have said that Disney will be absolutely fine. I have maintained throughout this entire process that Disney could really, really suffer as a result of this. Uh, and in fact, I did a video yesterday where I spoke about Alita Battle Angel actually having some hope for the future now moving forwards, because a lot of these film studios will probably want to partner up with production uh, costs as well as distribution costs. Disney, generally speaking, handle the distribution plus production costs. Now, let's take a look. I mean, the most striking part of all of this is the fact that this was reported way back in March, March 21st, is that Disney coronavirus closure could cost uh, about 500 million in lost theme park admission revenue. Now, that's actually going up day by day, uh, so much so that they've had to now uh, float the, the, the possibility of basically seeking uh, raising of funds through debt. So, the just to kind of summarize with respect to this article, and again, this was in early March prior to the 500 million um, sort of round off of the figures, and these figures are going up day by day, by the way. In fact, they're astronomically high now. So, Disney will attempt to raise cash through debt, and this was a filing with the SEC. It wasn't a small thing, it was they filed it, right? So, they, they did a filing with the SEC to offset the loss in revenue it will experience from park closures and film delays. Disney, which was riding high at the start of the year with a 12 billion box office tally in 2019 and a smash new streaming service, which has just been released in the UK as of March, and they've, they're have they really selling that as a tiny amount. I think it's costing about five pound a month, which, do your maths, uh, basic exchange rate, I mean, that's about $7.50, maybe? You know, five, five pound a month is nothing. In fact, that's it's about half the cost, I think, of Netflix. It's, or a third, one third, depending on what one you get. That's nothing. So, yeah, quite crazy. But they've lost one third of its market value in the past month. And again, it's going up day by day. The company decided last week to close its parks, Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and Disneyland Paris, in addition to its theme parks in Asia. Basically, everything is stopped. The domestic parks and resorts alone comprise 30% of Disney's operating revenue, according to UBS. Disney has warned investors, and that was on in the Thursday filing, that the company was being impacted on all sides, with film releases and production being delayed, supply chains experiencing disruption, and ad sale declines. So not a small amount. With interest rates near zero, a Rosenblatt Securities analyst Bernie McTurnan says that this is a good time for companies to raise cash. Disney in particular, with its strong balance sheet, is in a good position to do so. So Disney did not disclose the amount it would seek through debt offering. Um, but yeah, they're saying big number is $78.5 billion. That is how much has been wiped from Disney's market cap in the past month. So it's a rough start to Bob Chapek's CEO um, stuff. So, I mean, that's it's not a small amount. That's an awful lot of uh, money which is just kind of dropped. Uh, and again, like I say, you know, we have the Orlando Disney Park closed. Um, theme park projects most likely to be cancelled because of coronavirus. That has happened now. It is it is done. Um, and interestingly, the interesting part of this article is it does say that some estimates put losses for Disney upwards of 350000 per day due to coronavirus. That's just, that's just going up and up and up and up and up. It's not a small amount. In fact, there'll be way more than that by now. Um, and, you know, I opened with this kind of article here. We had, you know, Disney coronavirus clo closures could cost 500 million in lost theme park admission revenue. Um, that's probably gone up even more by now. Uh, and then we get on to this. So we get on to these topics here, which is about the furlough of staff, which is, if you don't know what furlough is, it's terminology which... A lot of people didn't really know in the UK until recently. It's basically, go on gardening leave, we're still going to pay you, um, but you, you, you're not working anymore, um, which is, is a, it's a good way to keep people on board. 
Um, in the UK, that's been the saving grace of a lot of businesses because the UK has put across like I think 500 billion or something like that, which is insane. You know, that's a massive amount. Um, the US did like a trillion, I think it was. But if you think the UK is, you know, tiny and we're putting 500 odd billion up for uh, businesses, something insane. Um, that we're, we're doing good. You know, that's a good amount to uh, to hopefully help people out. Now, obviously, this was back in um, early April. Doing my uh, my conversions there. So the second of April here. Now it said that it's unclear how many employees will be affected when the process begins on April 19th. Uh, in fact, that's that's already happened. So we're going to fast forward in a second to what is actually going on. But this was the initial statement, right? So the Burbank-based media giant stated that staffers whose job were, aren't necessary at this time will be furloughed as of April 19th. The affected staffers will receive full healthcare benefits plus the cost of employee and company premiums will be paid by Disney. Now, not overly sure how that affects the people of the parks because that's a lot of staff. Um, and it's also a lot of staff that would have been hand-to-hand -hand contact with people. Hand-to-hand -hand contact with people, likely contracted coronavirus, especially because Disney were very uh, front and center. They were still running their parks quite close to the closure date. So they, if they've receiving full healthcare benefits, they do risk losing quite a lot of money on that. Now, uh, numerous divisions are expected to be hit, including Disney's film empire, which comprises multiple labels, 20th Century Fox, Marvel, um, is it Pixar, I think? I can't remember off the top of my head, but an awful lot. Now, uh, they also stated that we expect something is coming for the unions next. Um, this was... Uh, <laughs> This is Duarte, I can't bloody pronounce that name, uh, which was said in a letter to union members. Union members not being included leaves us all with questions as to the future. We have reached out to the company and are scheduled to meet virtually with our labour relation representatives. So in a letter on Friday night, Duarte wrote that the company was proposing to also furlough all non-essential union members effective of April 19th. However, the company would continue all signature benefits, meaning health, dental, vision, life insurance, uh, and EAP. So they're actually doing okay by the sounds of it. it. Sounds like they're doing good stuff for their staff, which is shocking because, you know, hey, look, it's Disney. Um, now they say at this point in the process, the company is willing to pay the member contribution amount while a member is on furlough, securing much needed medical benefits for all members that rely on Disney for health insurance during this pandemic. Um, so yeah, good, like really, really good process. There's other little bits and pieces here. You know, it says in addition, Disney has warned in the filing, this was the SEC filing, extraordinary business challenges was what they state. They said that we have closed our theme parks, suspended our cruises and theatrical shows, delayed theatrical distribution of films, both domestically and internationally. So like I say, they handle distribution normally, um, which is such a good proposition moving forwards. Great opportunity to partner up and release some films. Um, yeah, real good. And they've experienced supply chain disruption and ad sales impacts. In addition, Disney warned in the filing that there has been a disruption in creation and availability of content that we rely on for our various distribution paths, including most significantly the cancellation of certain sports events and the shutting down of production of most film and television content, which is true. Now, um, obviously, Multiple movies have been delayed and moved. They shuffled around. That's nothing new. But the latest here is, again, the furloughs have occurred. So notices went out Thursday, uh, a week after its parent conglomerate said that those whose jobs aren't necessary at this time would be temporarily dismissed as of April 19th. So um, just to give this a rudimentary search over, it looks like they're starting to do that now. Uh, furloughs have hit Walt Disney Studios. Now, the interesting part of this is that they are, um, it's not just, like people taking, you know, it's not just the, the people being furloughed, you know, the basic people. Um, they are actually doing some good stuff here. So um, there's a lot of things down here. So it says that uh, obviously regarding the pay cuts disclosed on March 30th, the all vice presidents across the corporation, including at the film studio, will have their salaries reduced by 20%, senior VPs by 25%, and executive VPs and above by 30%. So they're actually doing quite good. Like, I hate to give Disney props, but they are doing quite well with respect to pay cuts. But again, remember, this is all probably to offset some of their raising of cash that they have to do um, through the creation of debt. So if they didn't do this, they probably wouldn't be able to get that. 
Um, now, obviously, here, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic is having a devastating impact on our world with un untold suffering and loss and has required us all to make sacrifices. Over the last few weeks, mandatory decrees from government officials have shut down the majority of our businesses, which is funny because I'm sure they'd probably still be going um, if they weren't told to stop. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it? It sounds, sounds an awful lot like, um, you know, they're, they're going through quite a tough time. My, my thoughts realistically just goes out to all the people, the normal people that are working there, all the staff doing makeup effects, you know, camera work, all, all the the cogs in the machine, not the overall machine itself. It's more just the cogs, you know. But there you go. That's an update on how Disney is being impacted by coronavirus quite extensively. In fact, multiple being uh, multiple people being furloughed through pretty much every single division of Disney at this point in time. It is quite insane. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about this? Good news, bad news. I mean, this perfect opportunity post-coronavirus because the landscape will be completely different. Who knows? Maybe they're going to sweep in and other companies will partner up and we'll see things change. But I thought uh, this would be a good update. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thanks so much. Take care.